Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Mallory. I am a 20 something year old living in Spain. I am from Missouri, uh, the United States, <laughs> from a small ass town, and now I live the best life ever here in Valencia. So, welcome. Uh, today's video is about Fias. Fias is a huge, 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 huge um, two week long party here in Valencia, Spain, Castellan region of Spain, and Andalusia region of Spain. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's what the mom of my family said. The mom of my family being my boss. I'm an au pair here in Valencia. So, yeah, let's get right into what we're here for today, Fias. So, I'm here to create a video for Fias, give you some background of what all goes on, why it's important, what happens, all of that fun stuff. So, let's dive right into it. Let's go, guys. So a little background for you guys. Fias started back in the 18th century, a long ass time ago, and has evolved over the years into this huge, traditional, two week long party. It starts March 1st, it goes to, it's almost like three weeks, uh, starts March 1st and goes through March 19th. And it is basically centered around the day of the patron Saint Joseph. Uh, so like fathers are included in this celebration at the end and it basically came about from a long ass time ago. Um, carpenters would get together uh, for the feast day of St. Joseph, March 19th. And at night they would burn all of their old rubbish and materials they had in the winter. And they had these um, towers they used for candles back in the day for light, you know, because they didn't have electricity. So they burned all of that on St. Joseph's Day, March 19th, and it just evolved over the years into what we call now Fias. So back in 1885, La Troca, a magazine in Valencia, got this great idea to hold or like give away basically a Fias award for who had the best Fias. And what that did is created a buzz for Fias and wanting to have the best Fias so that you could be featured in this magazine for having the best, right? Okay, so what is Fias? Fias is all of that rubbish and whatnot put together and being burnt. It wasn't just like two sticks of wood, y'all. It was like a shit ton of stuff. So these are big fires. So over the years, it's turned into sculptures and whatnot. And it's just crazy. So before we get into what it is now, let's take it slow and figure out how it got there. So after the magazine started this trend of getting the Fias out there of like this award, Fias caught on and it slowly but surely got bigger and better every year. So in 1901, I'm looking at my notes, I have a whole list for you guys. In 1901, Town Hall of Valencia, so now this is like no longer just like a pop culture thing with the government's getting involved. They decided to have municipal prizes for the best fires. So this is getting the trend going, you know, it's even getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then in 1929, now what, 20 something years later, it's been going on over and over and over again. They have a new competition. Who can market fires the best? So now, not only are we having a competition for the best Fias, but who can promote Fias the best? Which makes so much sense why I'm here in Spain and loving it because we're marketers here, bitch. So, all these people are now not only fighting for the best Fias, they're fighting for the best promotion of Fias. So that's all going on. Now Fias is even bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So, three years later, we're now to 1932, and Fias Week has officially be like become a thing. So 1932, Fias Week is real, which is March 15th through March 19th. I know it's not a week, it's only four days, but I don't know, I'm not the one that made it up, I'm just here reporting on it, okay? So yeah, that's the story of Fias. So let's get into some more details. What is Fias? And how crazy are these parties? Because that's what we really care about, right? The parties, that's what I care about. So let's dive right into it. Okay, 
So, getting into the details. So, Fias is basically now a, a party that brings the community together. Not as just like a whole, like the whole Valencian community, but it brings the neighborhoods together as well. So, each neighborhood has a Casa Fayera. I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm not trying to be a dick, I promise. So, Casa Fayera. And basically what that is, is the groups of people in each neighborhood that come together to organize and partake and do fires. So each neighborhood is responsible for their own fayera, fayas, and their own menot. I think I'm saying that right. Oh, help me Lord. Um, but anyways, what that is, is the statue that like I talked about, how they burn, burn it up, and the menot which is really awesome, we'll get into that later, that each neighborhood is responsible for those. And these groups of people celebrate, well they don't celebrate, but they like plan for Fias all year long. Like they have fundraisers and different events to, to raise money for the Fias because they are trying to have the best Fias in the community and they need money for the parade, the sculptures, all of it. So, yeah, that's what Casa Fayares is. And it's really cute because they, it's like super family friendly, right? So the girls and the boys dress up in these, <laughs> in these precious little outfits. The girls wear these ornate, beautifully designed dresses out of the most luxurious, thick, like woven fabrics it's it's spectacular and they have hair pieces and whatnot and the guys wear what i think of when i think of like a bullfighter so think of that and then you got it for the guys you'll see pictures of all of it hopefully if i can figure out technology it's right here for you guys in this cool little ad little pop-up thing i see youtubers do that all the time but i'm not there yet so i'll try for you this time but yeah, so they all dress up and they each have their own little parade. Like every neighborhood has its own Fias party in addition to like the grand party. So that's what's so cool about this. Everybody here is just so like intertwined and so close knit. Like every community is like literally a community because it's small. Like everybody knows everybody. There's no like Walmarts around to so, like Everybody knows the shoe shop owner. Everybody knows the fruit guy owner. Like everybody, everything's so small and compact. It's so cute. Like I can't wait to see all of these communities having these fires. So long story short, fires is awesome with these little groups of people and they dress up and it's cute. Okay, so let's get into more details. Okay guys, I'm gonna make this quick. I got interrupted by the kids the thousandth time now. They've been interrupting me like every five minutes. So that's been fun, that's been crazy today. And now they're begging and crying and screaming and all that, so I gotta go. But anyways, Neots are these massive, oh, here comes another one, massive sculptures that started as the rubble of the carpenters and it turned into these huge, ginormous, magnificent sculptures that represent Fias now. So they're the Trump babies and all the satirical stuff that's pop culture related, politics related. You can probably hear the kids screaming in the background. Sorry for that. But yeah, that's what Nina says. So let's get into the rest of the video. Come with me. Okay fam, brain break. Here's a video of me as a monkey and some pearly ass white teeth. Okay, moving on. Back to Fias. Let's go. Okay, so now we know what minos are. Minos? I don't know. Anyways, you know what those are. You know when it started. You know why it started. You know about the progression of how it got so popular. I mean, you guys are just so smart now. Look at you. You're like bias experts. So now, let's get into a little bit more deets. Okay, what's actually going on? So, yesterday, March 1st, was a Sunday, and we were pleasantly awoken. <laughs> by the Desperata de Infantilas. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> Anyways, it is a wake up call for infants, for kids. So 7.20 yesterday, people are in the streets, they're playing music, they're shooting all fireworks, 7.20 a.m., right? Okay, 
So then we have our eight o'clock comes around. 40 minutes later, guess what? More music, more fireworks in the street. La Desperta para adultos. So it's just La Desperta, but it's for everyone, okay? So this is a grand thing. And not only do we get to wake up at eight o'clock on Sunday 1st, Sunday March 1st for this, we also, 15th through the 18th, get to wake up every day at 8 a.m. to fireworks and music in the streets. How fun and terrible at the same time. If you live in that area, <laughs> but if you don't and you're just here for a while like me, it's awesome. So, you got that in the eight o'clock hour in the morning. Then, every day from yesterday to the 19th of March at 2 p.m., they have mascletas. Mascletas, which I know I'm saying that one right, so mm 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 mm, honey. Mascletas is obnoxious firecrackers. Like, not fireworks in the sky, firecrackers, like boom, 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 okay? So, obnoxious, boom, 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 for like five minutes or so, probably not that long, but close to it. Every day at two o'clock in the main square of Valencia. And Yesterday I went to it and there were thousands upon thousands of people. There was live bands playing and the just dollar beers in the streets, just like parties everywhere, dollar euros in the street, excuse me. Parties everywhere, people everywhere, just a good freaking time. You guys seen that in my other video. If you haven't, go look. So yeah, basically that happens every day from now until the 19th. And on the weekends, weekend nights at 12 o'clock midnight, there is actual fireworks, like the traditional ones you see, 4th of July, boom, 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 fireworks in the sky. So we've got that going on. So last night, La Corrida, which is the start of the fires. That took place at eight o'clock, and that was the start of all of it, right? Okay. So the next big thing we got going on is March 6th. And what happens on March 6th God, I have such a bad lisp now, and it's so funny. I spent so many years trying to get rid of my lisp because when I was little, kids made fun of me relentlessly. I was picked on so much for having a lisp. And then as an adult, I like got rid of it. And now that I'm back here in Spain, I have it because they use it here in Spain. <laughs> and my English is getting worse. Like my Spanish is on point. It's getting so much better, but my English is getting worse and my lisp is so bad. I can hear it right now. So anyways, back to the point. March 6th, <laughs> they have a Fallas Malvarosa and that's basically like an event on the beach. Malvarosa is one of the beaches here and it is a light music show. So that's this Friday. Then this Saturday, March 7th, of course we have our mescalitas again. Then we've got our Cabalagota del Niño Parade. So this is a parade of the Niños, which is the satirical figures. You guys know, I already told you about that. So we got that parade going on. And then after that, midnight of course, again, the mescalitas of colors. That's what they call it. So maybe it's not fireworks. Maybe it's just like smoky. I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to find out together. We'll see this upcoming week. So we got that going on at midnight. I think it's gonna be fireworks. It's at midnight. It's gotta be fireworks, right? With like of color? I think so. Who knows? And then March 18th. I'm gonna fuck this one up, but I'm gonna try. We have the Can Cant de Estoreta Valeta. And this is just another kids event. Uh, I'm trying to Google it exactly to get details on it. I'm getting mixed reviews, so I'm just gonna kinda leave that one up to you guys to figure out if you really wanna look into it. I don't wanna be out here spreading false information. So I've seen things about it being on the 8th, things about it being on the 5th, but it's a kids event and that's not really that important, right? It's kids. So we got that going on. Then we got the normal week. We've got the Mascletas every day, 2 p.m., parties in the streets at night, you right? And then we jump into the next weekend. What do we got going on then, you wanna know? Then you ask. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying this as much as I am? I hope so. I'm back. So, we're into the next weekend, March 13th. We've got another parade going on. It is called the Let's see if I can say this right. Cabalagata del Patrimonio. 
and it's a parade of the Valencian heritage. So again, another family friendly event, lots of things going on, big parade through the city. Then you've got the Mescalitas of Color that night, and then Friday and Saturday. So there are a bunch of different events. I'm not gonna bore you with the names of them all. Moral of the story is, this is a weekend where the awards are given out. So all of the Minos are awarded and picked upon and like decided and looked at and all this shit. And all of the Fias, like the statues and everything, all of the awards are given out on this day, these, these days, 14th and the 15th. So the 15th at night, midnight of course, because that's Spain and that's what we do. We start the party at midnight. Well, actually we don't end the party, but the start of the main party always ends up past midnight. Like when you go out to the club here, you like start at the bar at midnight and you don't go to the club until like 3 a.m. You don't leave the club till like 7 a.m. That's the norm here. So all these midnight parties are not weird. This is just Spain, okay? Get used to it. So anyways, the 15th at midnight, we've got the, I'm gonna say it wrong again, Albare. Les Fayas. And that's just another big party in the streets. Okay? Because this is the start of Fayas week. This is where the whole big shebang goes down, okay? So let's get into the nitty gritty. Okay, guys, so we're in the final stretch of Fayas. What is all of this about, right? Okay, so another a day of award ceremonies. That's what we got going on. How exciting, right? So 14th, 15th awards, 16th awards too, and midnight fireworks. So, now that all of the awards are done and out of the way, we get to the fun stuff. So, on the 17th, which is going to be a Tuesday, I think this year, it is, we've got our Ofrenda de Ofreda, Ofrenda a la Virgen de los Desamparados. Let me try that again quickly and without a fucking hundred stops. Ofrenda a la Virgen, ah, uh, nope. Ofrenda a la Virgen de los Desamparados. Pretty good, I'll take it. It is the sacrifice of the Virgin for the Forsaken. The sacrifice of the Virgin for the Forsaken. Yeah, okay. So we got that on the 17th and the 18th. I got one more for ya. Hey, hey. Hey. Okay fam, so we're in the heat of the moment. So we've got three days left. This is where things get real, okay? So the 17th and the 18th, they have an Ofreda a la Virgen de las Desamparados, which is the sacrifice of the Virgin for the Forsaken. And I kind of talked to my uh, mom of the family about this, and from what I understand, People and from what, from what I've read on the internet. Okay, right. So they each neighborhood, each group of fias, they meet at their casel, which casel is their headquarters. So that's like every neighborhood's like meeting point or whatever. So they all meet there, right? And then all of the kids carry all of these big groups of flowers. There's music, of course. Everything's always got music, which I'm not planning, don't get me wrong. So there's music, fires, uh, flowers, and everybody goes and they basically make a sacrifice for the forsaken. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm kind of reading more as I, as I look at this. Yeah, so there's a Plaza de la Virgin here in Valencia, and it's all decorated with flowers. And I'm sure that people now don't even know what it's for. It was probably some old ass thing with religion a long ass time ago, but people here in Spain are not that religious. Which is weird, like I, there's a thousand fucking churches, but you never see anybody in them. And everybody that I know that's Spanish here is not religious. I mean, they like know who God is, but they don't like practice, you know what I'm saying? So basically they do that. The family, the mom of my family says it's really cool for like first timers, but it's not that important because the religi religious aspect isn't there anymore, but it's cool. It's a good tradition, it's cute. So they got, got that going on. Uh, more fireworks, mescaletas, the whole nine. So on the 18th, now we're getting up to the 
last day, we have tributes to Maximiliano Tawas and Maestro Serrano and more of the tributes to the Virgin of the Forsaken, more sacrifices of the Virgin to the Forsaken. So that's going on on the 18th. We have a Nit de Frac, which is Night of Fire. That looks awesome. I'm super excited to see that go down. So we've got that on the 18th. And then on the 19th, we've got another flower tribute at the Patriarch's display. Mega Mescaletas. So what I, from, from what I've read online, it goes for seven plus minutes. There's like 7,000 firecrackers that are included in this. Uh, there's a fire parade uh, this day as well on the last day. Uh, Crema de las Fallas Infantales. And then the burning of all the monuments. So what goes on on the last day of Fallas is basically the world erupts in Spain. Kids don't have school. People don't have jobs. The whole city is shut down for this event. And it's just a chaotic uproar the whole day. So this is when they burn all of the fires, all of the notes. I hope I'm telling you guys this right. From what I've read online and from what people have been telling me, this is pretty accurate. So I guess we'll find out in the coming days of accuracy or not. But so this is when all this shit goes down. They burn everything. It's a huge, crazy party till wee hours of the morning. And then we go back to regular life. So in a nutshell, that is fires for you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this witty and semi-informational video for you. Um, most of what I know, I'm not telling you anything, I'm not blowing smoke out of my ass. I got, this is what I've read. I think this is right. So, what do you think? Did y'all like it? Okay guys, so yeah, in a nutshell, that is Fias. If I had to put it into like one sentence, I would put it in, say, Fias is a crazy, passionate party. Yeah, that's pretty much how I've interpreted it. And I'm really excited to see it. So I hope you guys come along with me. I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I'm putting together for you. And yeah, have a good day. Have a good life. Just appreciate what's going on around you. And don't take the little things for granted because those are what make each day so special and worth living. So. Be in the moment, be present, enjoy life, and share me some love. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't, so you can stay up to date with everything I've got going for you guys. And yeah, peace and love to the world, guys. Have a great day. It's been a while, but bye, Felicia. <laughs> enjoy this blooper reel. Felicia, bye. Felicia. Bye. Or as my mom likes to call it, 